Director, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the, the damage uh, that the storm has caused to the uh, churchyard? Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, I mean, it's been really unfortunate. We've got some ancient trees uh, there that have, uh, were just devastated uh, by the storm. And it's not just one or two. We've had quite a lot and some monuments have been broken. We've had problems there in the past, but we've managed to uh, make sure the trees are safe. But these uh, are pretty catastrophic and it's been, as most people have noticed if they've gone through, it's done some serious amount of damage and it's been quite um, upsetting for quite a lot of folks. Where, where does the, uh, the, the, the financial burden fall for these repairs? Is it all on the parish? No, no. Um, so the churchyard itself, although it's owned by the parish, it's a closed churchyard. So it means that Northumberland County Council uh, look after the maintenance. They have been really quick. Um, the council have been down here this morning. They've been clearing everything away, which has been absolutely brilliant. And we need to determine what we then do with the monuments, because obviously we need to try and either replace or fix those. Uh, and if people have family uh, there and they have family monuments, please will you let us know um, because we will uh, endeavour to try and put those right. Um, but we need to know who the families are. Some of the memorials are 100 years old, 200 years old, and we're going to find it very difficult to find any kind of living family. Well, we're not going to. But if there are monuments that are broken, please do let us know because uh, we will endeavour to get those sorted out through insurance. Can you tell us a little bit about, uh, possibly about the... Uh um, the history of the churchyard, how old is it and how many graves there are there oh. and what sort of area does it cover? Oh my goodness, um, it, it's a lot bigger than you realise. If you go there you think, oh it's not too big and then as you start wandering around you realise it's a, a good few acres. Uh, uh, and obviously we have the War Commission graves there as well, which are well looked after. Um, I have no idea how many graves are there. In, the, in about the late 50s, the, uh, the plans of the uh, graveyard were, were lost. We have no idea where they are. Um, Woodhorn hasn't got them, we haven't got them, um, so we don't actually know how many are there. There are also obviously many unmarked graves, so uh, we have uh, areas that we know are unmarked. Um, so we have no idea how many uh, bodies are there at the moment. Um, and how, how long has the churchyard been closed and, and what actually uh, to the layman does that, right. does that mean? So I think it was in the, uh, in the late uh, 50s or 60s I think there was a, a government uh, act where some of the ancient graveyards where parishes could not afford to look after them uh, it the maintenance has passed over to the local authorities uh, so um, I can't remember what that act is it was a specific uh, act of Parliament um, and what it means is that it's no longer open for new uh, however some families uh, will already have had double plots um, booked in there so therefore they can still use them uh, and many families are still allowed to place their ashes uh, in family plots and you can still do that but basically it means that it, it's no longer open for any new burials at this time. I take it that all the new burials at the moment of, uh, are at Northgate? They're either at Fairmore yes or, or actually in the uh, new area at the back which again is owned by um, Northumberland County Council which is the new St Mary's graveyard but again I think that is now shut and it's only got uh, um, areas that have been uh, um, bought for family plots. Uh, have you had any reaction from people so far? Uh, I mean the reaction has been devastation uh, and, and a lot of upset. It's a very important place for many people. Their families uh, are buried there, uh, ashes have been buried there um, uh, and many people walk their dogs and go through there. I mean it's part of uh, the town and it's an important place for many people so we're trying to get it back um, uh, into a, a fit state right now and I think the county council they must be commended the county council because they are doing a, a really big job um, and there's been so many trees down that they've uh, made it a, a priority which has been really good. And if people do have uh, concerns perhaps about family plots uh, who should they get in touch with and where? Uh, they, they need to get in touch with me um, they can get in touch with the uh, parish office and they'll find the email address uh, online. Uh, I wouldn't ring the number at the moment because a lot of it's still remote, um, but uh, uh, if they want to they need to email the office, which I think is office.morpethparish.gmail.com, uh, I think, uh, but they need to just check that. And, and just as a, a footnote, uh, we're still in the, uh, the, the aftermath of the storm, but I, I believe that the um, church has um, 
has volunteered some sort of uh, assistance to uh, to people who may find themselves in a difficult situation without power or phones. Yeah, well, we've we've, we've tried. We've realised that a lot of people haven't got phones, haven't got electricity, are cold. So uh, one of the things we've done is we've opened up St Aidan's uh, and got hot drinks there uh, and got facilities for ch uh, phone charging. And we're doing exactly the same at St James's, but we haven't got hot drinks there.